such a strange and amusing place. One day you buy him rocket ship underpants, and then the next they're in outer space. That we got bunnies this year, right? Mentioned? Yes. yes. That's pretty so that, much that's all like she's my new about. thing, right? So we got these Angora rabbits, and they have to be sheared, right? And then they have all this hair that then you can use to make wool, you know, yarn, right? Which, which, with five children and all of the activities that you have going on, this is now what you've decided well, to do. I just kind of like fell backwards into a hobby that I unintentionally acquired because I wanted to get bunnies for Lola for her birthday. I went on Craigslist and it just so happened in the next town over from us was a family that were selling these Angora bunnies. I'd never had an Angora before. I didn't realize what a big deal this is. Right. So the girls who, you know, these, this family that sold these bunnies explained to me what the deal is with all um, the hair. Because you absolutely have to, yeah, you have to shear, shear them. them or there They'll could die. be health issues. Well, right. yeah, I mean, they can get, uh, it's like the wool is seven times warmer than sheep's wool. So they could die from heat exhaustion if the wool gets mat. I mean, the hair will get matted against their skin and they won't be able to. Right. They'll die of heat exhaustion or because they groom like cats do, they could get wool block and die. I mean, there's just, it's like a health issue. So it's really imperative. So now that I've gotten, you know, fear of not grooming them properly, I'm trying to get really good about shearing them. I do it with scissors. Sit a bunny in your lap. Try to get them to sit still so you don't cut them with scissors while you're trying to get the hair close enough, you know, all the way down to the skin. Hard. But I'm getting better. It has to be sheared every three well, months. Well, they're probably getting more used to it, too, no? Not so much. Not so much? But, yeah. Okay. So they're pretty good, though. I sit there. So I, so then I have, like, these big bags of fur. And I can't throw it away because I'm like, it's like commodity. Like food or something. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a, a commodity. commodity. So I'm, like, searching online trying to figure out what to do with the hair. What right. What do I do? And, um, and then I, a couple people from different areas, like, you know, south. If I were just... I'm just too urban, I guess. If I lived anywhere a little bit, I mean, I, li I mean, I'm not really urban, but like, if I lived anybody anywhere a little more rural, there's like all these communities of people who have bunnies and they're doing this and stuff. But I'm all alone. Then I found out from one of these people that there's a store in my town that mm -hmm. just recently opened up a part of. It's a yarn store. It's a really high-end yarn store. But right next to it, they opened up a suite where they're teaching spinning classes. So I'm gonna learn how to spin the hair into yarn myself. So to prepare for that, I've started crocheting. I've taught myself how to crochet. <laughs> and see, I just have to say, this is my crazy friend Paige, it's and so I love her. It's so fun. I really do love her. So, you know, with the intention of just getting a pet for my daughter, which has made her extremely happy. She carries them around in a little purse. And, you know, she just loves them, and and just taught her a lot of responsibilities. That's one daughter. Now the other daughter, for the um, for the first day of school, I made her. One of these, I made like a, this little drawstring bag, right? And I, she, I put her cell phone in it and she took it, she loved it, she took it and she hung it to her backpack. Went to school and all her friends in junior high were like, where did you get that? She's like, my mom made it last night. And so she's getting like um, requests. So we're just frantically making a whole bunch of these and my, my daughter even requested, cause you know, she had to borrow the graphing calculator from the school, they wanted to take care of it. So I made a really big one for her graphing calculator, now her teachers want them. And so we're doing that, and then I made my first hat last night. How cute is this? Very cute. Is that cute? You want I'm to very on? impressed Aren't with you? this. I am. Yeah. I think you're doing a great, I mean, that is well done. That's cute? Yeah, yeah. it's really cute. Even Jeff admitted that he thought it was cute. He mm -hmm. hates hats. So anyway, so my daughter and I are crocheting together. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I'm going to sign up. It's like a $25 class to go and learn how to, everything you need to know how to spin. Spin. Right. So how fun is it going to be that my daughter and I are going to be able to, from the very beginning, the whole, do the whole project from scratch, scratch. Right. Spinning our own wool. Right. This is my crazy friend Paige, who's going to start spinning Angora wool when she's got five kids. But you know what? The kids are loving it. She has plenty of time to do this. No. Plenty. Well, Gretchen's jealous because now Because I can never get a hold of her because she's always in the cage with her rabbits. I am. I love them. So it's good. But it's fun. I mean... It's, it, you know, it's a good hobby. I, yeah, there are a lot of hobbies that I would be, you know, jumping out. Because I told my sister-in-law. If you decided like, to jump out of a plane, I'd be, I'd be a little more concerned. Yeah, yeah no, but, so, but <laughs> so I told my sister-in-law, I want to take spinning classes. And she's like, they offer that at the gym. I was like, <laughs> wrong kind of spinning. 
<laughs> different spin. Right. So anyway, but I'll let you know how it goes. Okay. If the first thing that I make with my bunny hair, I'll let you know. Okay. I'm so excited. So we want to hear from you. If you have a funny pet story, email it to us. It's at mommycast at gmail.com. And we'll pick one of the stories, and the winner will receive an iPod holder or a hat made by Paige. Made by me. Yeah. We gotta pluck the bunny hair. Pluck the bunny. Pluck it. Oh, see that'll be good. Good spinning hair. Pluck it. Oh.